Matt Roloff is not here for your hate. He is not here for your disdain. And he is most definitely not here for your disrespect of the woman who will likely be his wife someday. You got that? The Little People Big World patriarch has been dating Karen Chandler for about three years now. Their relationship is very serious and, by everything we've seen on screen, very sincere. Like we just said, and like Matt himself has often said, there's a very good chance that the couple gets engaged in the near future. Despite the chemistry between Karen and Matt, despite how close they are in age, and despite Chandler having a decent amount of money on her own, she continues to get dragged as a gold digger. As the latest example of haters coming out in full and knowing force, a handful of viewers tuned in for the latest Little People Big World episode and wondered why Matt was talking about the future of Rolla Farms with Chandler. The father of four appears to be somewhat close to retirement and isn't sure what to do with the property on which he's lived and on which he's made a living for decades. I can't understand why Matt's girlfriend have anything to say, remarked one critic with poor grammar in response to Chandler's involvement with the business, adding, they're not married. Another viewer pointed out that Karen worked for years as the farm's manager, so she is familiar with everything. And then Matt took things a step further in defense of his girlfriend because she's a brilliant business mind, and I find that very intriguing," wrote Roloff. It remains unclear just why Karen garners so much backlash on social media. She's clearly committed to Matt and she's clearly been fully accepted by his kids too. Yes, she knew Amy Roloff very well back when she got together with Matt, but Amy is now engaged to Chris Merrick and has moved far, far, far on from her ex-husband. She seems to have left the past behind, and yet random strangers on the internet have been unable to do so. Granted, Amy did write about Karen and Matt's romance in her latest memoir. The mother of four wrote at the time that Matt cheated on her with Karen, at the very least in an emotional sense. As their TLC show grew in popularity, Amy explained in this book that Matt started spending more and more time at the tavern he often frequented in the evenings after filming and working on the farm. She never referenced Chandler by name, but she goes on to say the farm manager was around more and more often. Then it dawned on me. Matt and our farm manager, who had been working for us a number of years by then, seemed to have more than just a working relationship or friendship, Amy writes in this biography, adding in one charged chapter. I saw messages, pictures and other things that should have never been shared between people who just worked together and were still married to other people. I was devastated. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.